Mary, I have your undershirt. Oh, that's not the right button to show. Larry, I wonder if you might know what this is. No, not a clue. You didn't even look at it. No, nah, because it's all, the only thing I can see right now is the form of my lovely Francie. Oh, in that case, allow me, allow me to help you seal my form unto you for all eternity. Yeah, Why are you smiling? I told you he wanted to be whipped in the front. You were one that's Okay, but like keep that in the bedroom. Don't take don't take your like kinks into a room full of people who have not consented to be with you for that. Now this is a now this is a trip I'm willing to endorse. Especially if we can finally get some peace here. Oh, see, Edgeworth is into it. Yes, into but it. we haven't confirmed everybody in the room consents to it. Yeah, I mean, the main player characters do. Everybody else uh, does. Missile? I, I don't know if Missile does. Uh, if Missile doesn't consent, then nobody should do it at all. I don't think Missile's capable of consenting. Maybe. I've been playing too much Baldur's Gate. <laughs> like we could just speak to him and see if he consents. Uh, I think that still doesn't. Uh, yeah, that still shouldn't by uh, the Harkness test or whatever wouldn't pass. Because yes, one of the one of the three points is whether you could communicate with them, but another one is human-like intelligence. Yeah. Well, I'm. Yeah. Because you can just speak to a child, but, like, that doesn't mean a child can give that. Neither can a dog. No, that's fair. That's fair. If you could please take a look at this brown-colored undershirt. Oh, edgy poo. What's the meaning of this? Hmm? Why did you steal that thing from my bags? You just hear Larry wretch in the background. <laughs> All you have to do is ask, and I want to gladly give you as many as you'd like. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. This shirt was found here at the crime scene. What? That's a face. Has <laughs> you ever done that face before? I don't remember ever doing that face. I'm, in fact, it feels cursed. What are those eyes? <laughs> Come now. Why don't you just confess and explain what it's doing here? Oh no, you froze! You're back. Hi, I'm back. I said a very funny bit. What, what did you say? Give it again. Oh, nope. It was hilarious. The world will never know. Well, then we have no evidence, and it may as well not have. <laughs> we can see this potato in two different ways. I know nothing. Nothing, I tell you. What? Oh, I admit that I used the fireplace to dry that shirt. But it can't really help the fact that I had to, you know. Wearing the pink princess costume is like being in a sauna. And on top of that, I get fingered as a suspect. <laughs> You're too cruel, Edgy Poo. Why is it you have to pause there? Are you claiming that you never once set foot inside this room? Of course I am. If I'd been the one to find the body, do you think I'd be as calm, as relaxed as I am? Huh? Uh, the, the camera's missing, the lawyer makes it very fault, the missing speaker, the missing speaker, can you believe that we got married today? I guess I'm stuck married, what kind of thing proposes that I used to be, I don't believe it, you're married honestly, men these days! <coughs> um, well, I don't believe she is lying about her actions, so I can safely assume she really was drying her shirt by the fireplace on her break. Forget. That that's her bit. Is is that? I mean, it's not our only bit, but yeah, that is a bit. 
I mean, the other bit is that she smokes a million cigarettes an hour, but like that's like we've just, never seen her smoke one cigarette. That's, that's, what I'm that's just like one flavor text I've added to my own brain about it. You know, we like, we just know used know. visual context clues to determine that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I I fully believe that her hair color is actually still jet black, and that's just cigarette ash. I mean, why do you think she wears a turtleneck all the time? Sorry, that was really bad, but... Why does that even have to do with anything? Uh, when people get lung cancer, sometimes they gotta... Wear turtlenecks? No, do that s surgery on their neck. Oh, the tracheotomy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually where she's talking out of, so... Oh, that's fair. Yeah, that, that could be. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. I see where you're coming from. And then she might have, like, the vocoder, like like tied around her neck at all times so she doesn't have to press to her neck to speak yeah i get it i get it i get it that's cool uh the room she's really drying shirt but the fabric doesn't break somehow the undershirt managed to move from the next room into this one <laughs> i assume the samurai dog was also used Ah, that brilliant mind of yours. You really can't see through everything about me. So the feeling of dread continues. But I suppose I should ask for more details. Uh, details. Samurai dogs. Have a good night, Dark Data. Um, good night, Dark Data. That samurai dog was yours, wasn't it? Yes, of course. I'm forever yours, my edgy wedgy poo. If you could just stick to what I asked you. Oh, Edgy, are you a Miss Old Bag? No! Oh, you really don't cheat, do you? When would you learn to take a joke? Anyway, that samurai dog wasn't mine. These things are a present from the studio to the embassy. A present? The studio bigwigs actually told us to play delivery boys. Basically told us. Well, basically. We we're supposed to hand the dogs off to the embassy and tell them hi. The embassy people. We had to pile it all into the push cart just to move on. The studio guys should have delivered those right. Those things right by themselves, right, Edgy? So, did you deliver the samurai dogs to the embassy staff as per your instructions? Hey, Edgy! Don't just ignore me in my question! Are you going to stick up for me? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, uh. <laughs> ah, about that, see? After the show, I went to rest a spell in the dressing room. Because of my bad hip, you know. And they were, and there they were, the samurai dogs just sitting on my dressing room floor. I suppose you had to make preparations for distribution, for distributing them after the show. Well, if by preparation you mean sampling them as well. Excuse me? Oh, I tried one and they're actually quite good. Sorry, but I just had to find out. I know it was silly of me to think this, but... I figured since they're for a kid's show, their taste was probably for kids too. But they were so good that I couldn't stop. Before I went back to my room, I just had to help myself to half a dozen or so boxes. As I sat there by the roaring fire, warming them and eating them, I thought, ah, this is. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What is it now? Oh, I know. I bet you want a box too, don't you, my edgy poo? Well, who am I to say no to you, but I'll only give you one. The rest are all for me. Okay, I was gonna say how many are in a box? And she says she ate a dozen or so boxes. I'm ha thinking, I thought she like, said half a dozen or so. Yeah. Either way, I'm thinking like 
boxes, like, like, like boxes. I assumed boxes. one per box. I was just like, Samurai Dog comes in a box. Oh, okay. I, I thought that they were like crates and then there were like dozens of hot dogs in one box. Yeah, I think she just meant she ate like six or seven hot dogs. Hot dogs. Oh, that's fine. I mean, that's kind of a lot still, but... But yeah. it's not just, like, they have bread and toppings, like, bread's filling. Yeah, but they, they also look kind of small, though. Maybe? It's, it's your line. Looks like the lesson for today is that when the steel samurai and the pink princess... Sorry, I just realized we have a picture of Master Mask the second. I didn't realize we had a, knew what he looked like. Opportunist unrelated to the first, the mask. Yeah. Uh, Ex security lady. Does it say her name? Oh, there's the name down there. But it's still weird. I believe her. I believe her real name is Wendy Oldbag. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take off their mask and they, they transform into a pair of annoying troublemakers. Uh, do you have anything else to say? No. Uh, do you have anything else to say? No. Uh, do you have anything else to say? Yes. He was much bigger half than I thought he would be. Yes, however, there are a few aspects I don't understand about what he found. In that case, you should keep on investigating until you do understand. Now, my subordinates, continue with the investigation. Uh, all right, I will. It's with great dread that I proceed and do what I must to solve this case. Okay, I think uh, maybe we show him the dogs? Wrong but God, I really want a hot dog now. I, I, I don't even care that much about them, but I'm suddenly craving one. Oh, man. With, like, just, with all the toppings. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good dog. I had hot dogs for my birthday this year. Nice. Unrelated, but that's, like, the first time I've had hot dogs in a long time. Yeah, I mean, when you dress them with, like, some good toppings, a, a hot dog's good. And and actually, not like the brand of hot dogs that are native to our part of the world that I won't say for doxing issues yeah, are definitely dox yourself. are really good. Even just like eat without a bun, like yeah, yeah, for sure. Larry, I wonder if you might know what. The, oh, no, this is this generic. Okay, cool. Whippity whippity trip. Uh, oh, maybe this. Hey, I wonder if you might know what this is. Also, can I see the text again now? See, yeah, that is definitely Mindy. Uh, it kind of <laughs> looks like Wendy. <laughs> he just has really bad handwriting. I wonder how they did that in Japanese. Maybe he wrote in English. <laughs> no, no, like you could definitely like write kanji sloppily enough that it looks like a different kanji. Like I'm just. I'm yeah, it also saying. wouldn't be like Mindy, then the name would be something yeah, that's else. That's what I'm saying. I'm interested in what Wendy's name in Japanese is and what the fake one is. And you, I... you don't have to look at it now. Yeah, but I'm never gonna remember to otherwise. Ace Attorney. I'm just, I'm just looking at Mindy. What if Mindy is? Yeah, Ace Attorney Mindy. Uh, she mentioned in the article for Pink Princess, so it might say in the trivia. No. Uh... Mindy.
Yeah, I'd have to look at the... It, it'd take more digging. It doesn't just say in the article. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, okay. Uh, Larry, I wonder if I know what this is. Oh. I don't have not a clue. Really? You don't know anything about the letter you wrote? Uh, well, what about this? The standard request. That's the only other thing you could possibly. No. No, not a clue. <sighs> I love how he cries for the first three whips, and then the fourth one he smiles. Yeah, well, the third he's like, ooh, I'm into it. Uh, fine. I'll give you a letter from Stalker. I pressed the wrong button. Letter from Stalker. So this person will be depend descending on me to from above tonight, huh? Oh, Edgy Poo, I'm so scared. Hold me. If you could please not cling on to my personage. Ah, uh, beautiful, pe beautiful people have it so hard. All it took was for me to be up on stage for a little while and a stalker is born. Actually, the whole time while you were up there on the stage, you were in costume. Therefore, no one should have recognized you or what you looked like underneath. My pure charisma. But there is that thing, you know, they say people can identify you by your aura. So even without seeing my face, my stalker could see the beauty within me. So you see, that's how I charm the pants off men. Charm you? Preposterous. Uh... This thing really showed me not to underestimate the taste of a snack meant for kids. Is it really that tasty? <gasps> Don't tell me you haven't had one yet. In that case, I'll just have to feed you one. Now open wide, here comes a hot dog train. No, that's perfectly all right. I'm currently on the job right now. You're not allowed to eat on the job? What a strange twist of events. Because they needed a stand in and I was able to become a heroine just like that. It's the content you're waiting for, Shady. <laughs> Assume that the actual reason you're called in is due to lack of personnel. Well, there's that too. But no matter what you said, it's obvious that I have a presence. But that's how I caught the eye of the director. I ask you, is being beautiful really such a crime? I suspect even the director is lamenting the lack of personnel from the depths of his heart. Uh, okay, we showed her everything there that we recently got. Uh, what about you? Uh, what do you know about- oh, wrong button. What do you know about samurai dogs? Check to bed, I'm wondering if you might be able to tell me something about this. Sorry, but I don't give a hoot about things that aren't related to the Yadagrasu. Ha! <laughs> Looks like nothing has changed in these seven years, huh? Oomph. Daughter of Unkarma, you're still just a sapling of a prosecutor, so... Have you know they have grown into a stately tree of a prosecutor? Heh, <laughs> is that right? Is he just toying with Francisca? He seems to be enjoying this quite a bit. Look at my branches! Look at them! <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I mean, what kind of tree is she? Uh, ginkgo biloba. Oh, not, not any, uh, not producing trees? No. Okay, yeah, you uh, don't, you don't care about anything we recently got. Cool, cool. The only other thing I think of is showing Francisca something that we had a, a while back because she was newly introduced. I, I would say she's a Polonia tree, but that's a spoiler. Spoiler too. Oh, it's something. If you know, you know. So, an Ace Attorney thing? Uh, maybe. No, it's not. <laughs> uh... Let's see, how about... I don't... I don't freaking know. <laughs> okay, I definitely... Oh, I, got, I lost connection to the chat. Oh. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still there. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I just... I, for some reason, I lost connection to the chat, so... Uh, any ideas? Um, do we have any logic that we connect? Oh, I forgot about logic. We have a few logic, yeah. yeah smoke so from the chimney and chimney use the fireplace. the fireplace. I forgot logic exists. <laughs> that makes sense coming from me. There's no trace of this room's fireplace being used. And your point is... Ahem, <laughs> smoke is supposedly pouring out of the chimney connected to this fireplace. At least according to Larry, this is a contradiction of facts, is it not? Are you sure it wasn't just disoriented, uh, something up? Are you sure he wasn't just disoriented of something up on that roof? There is testimony from an investigator that puts Larry at this particular chimney. So no, I don't think it was a mistaken impression on Larry's part. What? Who said that they saw Larry there? Okay. He said that he was going down the chimney. But there's, he said there's testimony placing him there. Oh, you're right. Neither, own, I guess. On the other hand, the fireplace in the next room was being used at the time. What do you suppose the smoke from that fireplace went? Ah, I see. What you are proposing is it. The smoke that came out from the chimney was actually from Miss Olbacus's fire. So basically, the fireplaces of the neighboring rooms share one chimney. Is that what you're implying? That's a thing. I guess it could be. Precisely. For some reason why one chimney needs to only vent out one because smoke goes up, maybe? I don't know. But what goes up must come down. Ominous. Uh, these are all we have to connect, so sure. The lady's undershirt that Missile found. Ugh! Yeah! Why are you getting all excited over holding to a lady's undergarment? Miles Edgeworth, you uncouth sea slug. Sea slugs are cool. If you know the owner of said undershirt, then hurry up and return it to her already. You have it all wrong. This is evidence. The owner of this piece of evidence was in the room next door. And yet, despite that, Missile found it in the fireplace of this room. This lady's undershirt. Are you seriously claiming that it somehow passed through a solid brick wall? Not quite. The fireplace in this room is connected to a chimney. The other fireplace in the other room is also connected to the same chimney. Leading us to the possibility that the two fireplaces are connected to each other. Perhaps a closer look at the back of the fireplace is in order. There's an X in the back wall of the fireplace. I still can't not see a mustache. That is very mustache adjacent. Let's see if I can't get a better look at it. What in the? The wall is separating this room's fireplace from the next room's fireplace. 
apparently turns. As I suspected, this fireplace does indeed connect this room to the neighboring room. The neighboring room! There appears to be nothing particular about the next room. But the fact that there is nothing special about the next room isn't what's important. It's the fact that there is a secret passageway through this room's fireplace. Jessica? Oh, oh, you froze. Oh, yeah. Must have oh, you're back. Am I back? Yeah. We now know that the fireplace connects the two rooms. But how exactly is that significant? You aren't going to suddenly name the old lady as the mass two's killer now, are you? No, she couldn't move at all because of her stiff hip. So she could not have been this, the one. Unfortunately, I believe that this fireplace has nothing whatsoever to do with Damask II's murder. You! We identified that nothing here is connected to anything. Nothing here is connected. It would appear that the answer has made itself known. Making quite a commotion in that face there, Mr. Prosecutor. Bring it on. I'm ready to counter any ar argument you may have. Very well then, if you're prepared, I'll show you exactly where my deductions have led me. Oh, you're good. I'm counting on you, Edgy. Leave it to me, Larry. My first attack will be to expose your lie for what it really is. My lie? I know that there is something, you are still is something you're keeping from the rest of us. What's wrong with you? Why won't you believe me no matter what I say, Edgy? Curse you! I should just hurry up and die already if that's how you're gonna be. Just a minute. Yeah, take your time. I'll confess to every murder in the whole world that I kill myself. It's <laughs> a little extra, buddy. Uh, Shady, if you're still here, I don't know if you heard me, but I'm going to start playing uh, Three Houses again. <laughs> uh, because of a bit. Now that's like my identity now. I hyper focus on games because of bits. There's only so much Baldur's Gate I can play before I need to play something else. And Salasta is like scratching the itch, but it's also like frustrating me because with the mods, some other stuff is broken and I can't spiritual weapon as a cleric uh, because the pathing for it is busted. I don't know. I, it doesn't let me summon it. So, you know, it is what it is. Okay. And throw everything into mass confusion. <laughs> you made some wonderful friends as a child, I see. Larry, I only have one thing to say to you. Even if you make that face at me, it's no use. A man who's ready to die is strong-willed, you know. Larry, it doesn't matter what sort of harebrained trouble you've caused. I only ask that you do not lie to me. I feel like Larry Butts and uh, Ichiban would get along. Ichiban? From Yakuza Like a Dragon. Oh. Is that the protagonist? The main character, yeah. Hmm. If you cause an innocent person to be judged unfairly because of some insipid lie, I will never forgive you. It's judgy. Although allow me to say that I consider you to be among the innocent in this case, and that I will draw the real killer out. You can trust me on this. All right, I... I... This time... This time I'll tell you the whole truth, okay? What happened? What didn't happen? The works. Just what happened will do. <laughs> so, <laughs> a dinosaur didn't come through the door, and a mermaid didn't come through the door. It sounds like some sort of children's book didn't now. Come through the door. I mean, he is a children's book writer. <laughs> now then, so, if you would please testify as to what you did up on the roof tonight. 
And a chicken didn't go through the door. And a marsupial didn't go through the door. As far as I know. 